Welcome to a logical reasoning video on cause and effect from careerright.com. Cause and effect is easiest yet one of the most confusing topics for many candidates. Placement tests, job interviews and entrance exams have questions on this topic to test how good a person is in analyzing situations. In this video, we learn tricks to correctly solve all questions of this topic. Also, keep visiting careerright.com for information on latest job offerings in the market. Submit your profile with us and we'll share it directly with the employers. You can even get to know of interview experiences shared by other candidates. So now, let's begin with cause and effect. Just like we said, it is one of the most easiest topic when it comes to logical reasoning. However, mainly candidates make a mistake here as they don't understand what is needed or they don't know how to find the right answer. Okay. Now here what happens is that in cause and effect, okay, there's generally two statements would be given one and two and we have to decide which one is cause and which one is effect. Okay. Now over here. There's just one simple tip, uh, actually there are two tips, not one simple tip, two tips uh, when it comes to solving questions of cause and effect. The first tip is very easy, you know that, that is nothing but practice. Keep practicing and it will become a piece of cake for you. On practice, you will become an expert in this topic. So keep practicing and the second most important tip is use of the word so or therefore, okay these two words okay you can use either so or therefore so use of these two words is nothing but the second tip uh, by using these two words to join both the sentences we can decide which is cause which is effect okay let's take an example to understand what exactly is this second tip there's just one one tip this tip and it would help you to solve all sums related to cause and effect let's move on to question number one and understand the tip statements okay first one people are looking for an alternative to petrol driven vehicles second one petrol reserves are on the verge of depletion now this is the format of the question okay they give you the two statements and they give you five options let us understand what the five options are first one is statement one is the cause and statement two is its effect so statement two is the effect of statement one statement one is the cause the second one is exactly opposite statement two is the cause and statement one is the effect of this cause okay third one both statements are independent causes that means none of them is an effect both of them are causes and both of them are independent causes they are not related to each other fourth option is both the statements one and two are effects of independent causes that means there are two causes c1 c2 and both of them have independent effect, effect one and effect two. And these two statements, this is statement one, statement two, these are, both of them are effects and each of them is effect of some separate cause. They are not at all related. Fifth option is both the statements are effects of some common cause. So there is some common cause over here and both the statements are effects and both of them are effects of this common cause only. Okay. Now, uh, for uh, let's take an example of the fifth option like it is like it rains heavily and uh, one effect can be all people become wet and other effect will be the roads will get uh, uh, clogged because of water. So both of them are effects and the common cause is that it is raining heavily. Okay, so this is the meaning of the fifth option. Now let us take a look at how to use the tip which we have learned regarding the words so or therefore okay any of the two words what we you need to do is so or therefore what you need to do is you have to combine the sentences using so and therefore how to combine statement one so statement two okay then we have to check on a reading like this state read statement one then read the word so and then second statement and then check if it makes sense otherwise try second statement so the first statement Okay, you can use either the word so or you can use either the word therefore. Let us see, let us solve this sum. What is it given? People are looking for an alternative to petrol driven vehicles. 
so petrol reserves are on the verge of depletion now this does not make sense let's try with therefore people are looking for an alternative to petrol driven vehicles therefore petrol reserves are on the verge of depletion again it does not make sense so sentence one and therefore sentence two is not at all useful let us try the other way around sentence two therefore sentence one petrol reserves are on the verge of depletion therefore people are looking for an alternative to petrol driven vehicles now this makes absolute sense that petrol reserves are on the verge of depletion so only people are looking for alternative to petrol driven vehicles now this makes sense so this is a this is the sentence we need to consider now very important thing whatever sentence comes before so is your cause okay this is your cause whatever sentence comes after so this is your effect so over here second sentence is the cause first sentence is its effect so this first sentence is the effect of sec uh, second sentence so answer is b statement 2 is the cause statement was it one is its effect now with further examples it will become clearer and clearer okay how to use so and therefore right so please remember just you just need to use these words okay any one of these words and you can get the answer moving to question number two statements in the past the general public did not have access to the information related to funding the government has decided to make all information related to funding available to general public so let us start using the word so or therefore okay uh, let us combine the sentences using the word so or therefore in the past general public did not have access to the information related to funding therefore the government has decided to make all the information related to funding available to general public now this makes absolute sense okay that the it was not available earlier so the government has decided to make the information available let us try the other way around government has decided to make all the information related to funding available to general public therefore in the past the general public did not have this does not make sense right so only the first the first type which we did that is first sentence therefore second sentence this makes sense so that means that sentence before therefore this is nothing but the cause and this is the effect okay this is the cause this is the effect so statement one is the cause and statement two is the its effect see how easy it is moving to the next question question number three statements indian economy is observing remarkable growth newly elected government is putting all its efforts for public welfare now over here again let's use the word so or therefore indian economy is observing remarkable growth so newly elected government is putting all its efforts for public welfare okay this uh, does not make that much sense let's try with therefore indian economy is observing remarkable growth therefore newly uh, elected government is putting all its efforts for public welfare again over here we are not able to understand uh, okay it's not that clear let's try the other way around newly elected government is putting all its efforts for public welfare therefore indian economy is observing remarkable growth second sentence so or therefore and then the first sentence newly elected government is putting all its efforts for public welfare therefore indian economy is observing remarkable growth now this makes much more sense than the first combination okay so that means that this is the right answer so sentence before therefore becomes your cause sentence after therefore becomes your effect so answer is b statement 2 is cause and statement 1 is its effect moving to the next question question number 4 student x of xyz school was suspended for his misbehavior second sentence is the performance of all the students of xyz school was excellent now over here let's try the word so or therefore student x of xyz school was suspended for his misbehavior so the performance of all students of xyz school was excellent no this does not make sense let's try the other way around the performance of all the students of xyz school was excellent so student x of xyz school was suspended again this does not make sense so option one and two are not useful at all okay so cancel them okay none of them seems like a combination of cause and effect now let us see if both of them are causes okay here they have given student x was suspended for his misbehavior now the student misbehaved and so he was suspended so this cannot be a cause this is like an effect 
okay that the student misbehaved and at the end the student was suspended it is like the rain was falling and because of which people got wet so people getting wet is nothing but an effect it cannot be a cause right because cause is nothing but the rain falling so over here student takes misbehave so the student was suspended so this becomes an effect okay so again c cannot be an option because both statements are independent causes is the option c but over here we know that the first one is an effect let's see second one performance of all the students of xyz school was excellent now here the performance was excellent okay again this is a kind of an effect the students might have written the paper or gone into a competition and there there the effect was that because of their practice and training and studying their performance was very good so this is also a type of effect it is not some cause okay if they would have said that the performance of all students was excellent and so they were given a prize or something like that then we would have thought whether it is an effect uh, whether it is a cause or something like that or so, okay but over here they have given performance was excellent that means they have already delivered it and so it is an effect okay so both the statements are effects now we have to see whether it is d or e okay whether they have independent causes or whether they have some common cause in one the student was suspended for misbehavior in other the students have a very good performance okay both of them are not related so they must be the effect of independent causes they do not have some common cause so answer is not e answer is d see how easy it is now here when we don't have any option like so and therefore if you are not able to connect the statements try to find the answer using the options okay whether they are independent causes whether they are independent effects of independent causes or effects are of some common cause moving to the next question question number 5 statements many people in rural areas have been suffering from water borne diseases even semi urban areas will be affected if the government is not able to overcome the contaminated water problem let us try to combine many people in rural areas have been suffering from water borne diseases so even the semi urban areas will be affected if government is not able to overcome this does not make sense so so this is answer uh, option number 1 is not possible then second even semi urban areas will be affected if the government is not able to overcome the contaminated water problem so many people in rural areas have been suffering from water borne disease again this is not making any sense so option b is not the answer let us check out from the remaining three okay many people in rural areas have been suffering from water borne diseases people are suffering from the water borne diseases this is an effect there is some water borne disease which is the cause and because of which people are suffering so this is an effect so c cannot be an option let us check out a uh, second statement also even semi urban areas will be affected if the government is not able to overcome contaminated water problem the cause is contaminated water problem and if the government is not able to overcome the problem then even semi urban areas will be affected affected so this will also be an effect it is not a cause so option c is also not there now we have to see whether it is d or e over here both of them are talking about water borne diseases and some problem related to water okay so both of them are having a common cause it is not an independent cause okay here Yeah, there is another trick to understand here they have given many people in rural areas are suffering from water borne diseases and second statement starts with even semi urban areas will be affected so it must be related to the first statement that means since it is both related to water plus the word starts word there is word even that is it must be related to the first statement that means it has a common cause so answer is e there is no independent cause over here there are not two different independent causes the locations might be different rural and semi urban areas but the problem is sim same water borne diseases and contaminated water problem so there is some common cause and both of them are effects of that so answer is e moving to question number 6 statements government has opened two hospitals in the beginning of the year people will get good medical attention let's use the word so and therefore government has opened two hospitals in the beginning of the year so people will get good medical attention this makes sense let's try the other way around also 
people will get good medical attention so government has opened two hospitals in the beginning of the year now please pay very very close attention this is extremely important from exam point of view this is where many of you will get confused and make a mistake and mark the wrong option now if you see the second sentence it is it says people will get good medical attention so government has opened two hospitals now this you might think that okay this makes sense this is correct and you might mark b but actually this is grammatically wrong okay only the first sentence or the first combination makes sense government has to open two hospitals so only people will get good medical attention this is the cause and this is the effect government has opened two hospitals and the effect of it is that people will get good medical attention had it been here the difference is because of this word will if instead of will the word is should people should get good medical attention then your second combination is correct that means people should get good medical attention so government has opened two hospitals okay then this will become cause this will become effect but right now the word is not should the word is will so what will happen is that this becomes the cause that the government has opened two hospitals so people will get good medical attention this becomes the effect please remember you might make mistake over here so the answer over here is a okay this is the cause this is the cause this is the effect also don't forget job forum on careerright.com will have latest job offerings in the market so go check out the job forum on careerright.com moving on to question number seven statements due to insufficient rainfall the crops have been damaged so the vegetable prices have been increased considerably now this makes sense let's try other way around Vege the vegetable prices have been increased considerably so due to un insufficient rainfall crops have been damaged this does not make sense only first makes sense so answer is a moving to next question statements in kashmir due to bomb blasts many schools in the area had to be kept closed for a week so many teachers have resigned from the school now this does not make sense that the schools due to bomb blast schools were closed and so the teachers resigned but still let's check the other way around many teachers have resigned from school so in kashmir due to bomb blast many schools again this does not make sense this does not make any sense now let us see what exactly so option a and b is not there okay now over here what what is the first thing many teachers have resigned from the school now uh, we don't know whether it is an effect or cause let's move on to the first sentence let's check out in kashmir due to bomb blasts many schools in the area had to be kept closed for a week now this cannot be a cause schools were kept closed for a week well, cannot be a cause because they have already given the cause that is due to the bomb blast schools were closed for a week so this becomes an effect sort of schools were closed for a week becomes an effect so option c is also not the answer okay because option c wants that both of them should be independent causes second one is also an effect okay many teachers have resigned from the school now why will teachers resign from the school now in the first sentence only they have given us uh, the sort of a reason due to the bomb blast in kashmir okay so even if we don't take it as a uh, reason still teachers have resigned from the school this is an effect okay we have we don't know the reason or the cause for resignation of the teacher so resignation of the teachers is an effect so we have to choose whether it is d or e right now over here e option is that they should have some common cause do we know why teachers have resigned it might have happened that they might have not have got salary it might be that they might be fearful of their life it might be due to bomb blast also it might be due to the school uh, remaining closed for a week so both of them are effects for sure but we don't know exactly whether the cause is common or not so we can assume that so answer cannot be e so answer is the remaining d both of them are effects of independent causes it is not because of the bomb blast that the teachers have resigned okay it might be that due to the schools are closed for a week the teachers might have resigned or the teachers might have been threatened by the terrorists so they might have resigned so the answer is d see in such cases whenever it is confusion always remember try to use the options to your benefit try to eliminate the options once you eliminate the options you will get a clearer picture this is another tip which will be very very useful moving to question number nine statements the police authority has recently fined all the traffic violators so 
government has decided to install cctv cameras on all traffic signals uh, now this does not make sense that police authority has fined the traffic violators and so they are installing cctv cameras okay let's this this does not make sense other way around government has decided to install cctv cameras on all traffic signals in the city so the police authority has recently fined all the traffic violators this again does not make sense that government decided to install cctv and so the police authority has fined so again so option a and b is not thing now over here police authority has recently fined all traffic violators so they have taken some action so this action which we, they have taken it is the effect of something they might have caught the traffic violators and then they might have fined so this is an effect okay so again option c is not there right now let us check out so that means this is an effect what is the second one government decided to install cctv cameras now they might have decided to install the cctv cameras because of some cause that there might be thieves there might be traffic violators there might be accidents so this is again a effect okay let us see if both of them are effect of the same cause or independent causes now here for traffic signals they are putting up cctv cameras correct okay in the city and the police authority is also finding all traffic violators so everything is related to the traffic and traffic violators so there is some common cause of traffic violation and that is the and effect of it is that government decided to install cctv camera plus the police authority is finding traffic violators so both of them are effects of common cause answer is e moving to next question Question 10 statements, all the employees of company X will receive a bonus this month, so company X has booked double profit this month. This does not make sense. Company X has booked double profit this month, so all the employees of company X will receive a bonus this month. This makes sense. Answer is B. Moving on to question number 11. Statements, attrition rate of company X is very high, so freshers think twice before joining company x okay this makes sense let's try the other way around freshers think twice before joining company x so attrition rate is very high this does not make sense if uh, that freshers are thinking twice before joining the company and that is the reason for attrition rate to be high attrition rate actually means that people leaving the company okay people leaving the company at a very high rate that means the attrition rate is high so only the first makes sense that attrition rate is high so the fresher thinks twice before joining the company because freshers think why the people are leaving so early okay why the people are leaving the company so early so only first statement is right so answer is a see how easy it is just using the word so or therefore you can use any word okay most probably you can go in for therefore because it makes grammatically more sense but if you are comfortable with so you can use that also by using these two words any one of these two words you can easily find which is the cause okay which is the cause and which is the effect also you can use options to your benefit if you are not able to find one cause okay and effect by these words simply eliminate option a or eliminate option b then see if there is one effect at least one effect then option c also gets eliminated then just check out if they have a common cause if they have if they have a common cause then d gets eliminated answer is e see how easy it is there's nothing to it you just need to practice on practicing you will become a master of the topic okay hence don't forget the words so and therefore also visit the job forum on careerright.com for latest job offerings in the market we directly share your profile and resume with the employer so your selection percentage increases Share the video with friends and give it a like if you liked it. Leave your comments and suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel.